Hey, it's Chris. In this video, I will teach you how to cook sinengag, or Filipino fried rice, which is perfect for any Filipino breakfast, such as spam and eggs, which is what we'll be making in this video. If you've never made fried rice before, then this is an easy one to start with, since there's only three ingredients, rice, garlic, and salt. Let's start by cooking some rice. I'm using two and a half cups of white jasmine rice. If you already have day-old rice in the fridge, then you're good to go. You can skip this next step. Since this is white rice, make sure you rinse your rice at least two or three times. This removes excess starch and helps give the rice a more even texture, which is important when we fry it later. For this amount of rice, I fill it up with water up to the 2 cups marker. This might be less water than you're used to, but we don't want our rice to be too wet when frying. If you're using the finger method, I'd say just add less water than usual. In my rice cooker, this will take 15 to 20 minutes before it's done. If you're using freshly steamed rice, it has to be dry and cool before you fry it. Here's what you can do. Grab a baking sheet or large plate and scoop up all your freshly cooked rice onto it. Then spread out all that rice to cover as much surface area of your sheet or plate as you can. This will allow the rice to cool more quickly. You can even leave the rice in front of a fan to cool even more quickly. Now let's prepare the garlic. Here I'm using six cloves. To make peeling the skins off easier, I like to give the garlic a light mash with my knife. I like to use two or three cloves per cup of rice, but really, you can't have too much garlic in this dish. Using a mortar and pestle is my preferred way to prepare the garlic. You don't want an absolute paste, but more like little garlic chips. This is perfect. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can mash the garlic with the side of your knife. You can smash the knife with your hand, but I like to put my body weight in my palm like this. Then you can follow up with a rough chop. Remember, we want garlic chips, not minced garlic. Now that our garlic is ready and rice is cooled, let's fire up our wok on medium heat. If you don't have a wok, any large frying pan will do. Make sure your wok is hot before you put in your oil. This is how you create a non-stick surface. I'm using about two tablespoons of oil. Any oil will do, but try to avoid olive oil or sesame oil if possible, since these may overpower the dish. I like to use canola oil or peanut oil. Once the oil is hot, in goes the garlic. Mmm, listen to that sizzle. This dish is no good with burnt garlic, so keep the garlic moving and keep on frying until you get a nice golden brown. Now add your rice and turn up the heat to high. Try your best to break up and separate the rice grains. The idea is to coat each grain of rice with that garlicky oil. If you have clumps, you can mash them with your spatula like this. You don't have to perform any fancy stir-fry tricks, but if you can, give it a flip. Just try not to make a mess, alright? Come on. Now you can add a couple dashes of salt to taste. I like to add just enough salt so that it's not too bland. Remember, you'll be eating this with Spam, which is pretty salty. And that's it. It's ready. It's done. Total frying time should be no more than 5 to 7 minutes. I like to put the finished garlic fried rice right back into the container it was steamed in. My guests can serve themselves at the dining table. Mmm, look at that. Now let's make this into a complete Filipino breakfast. We can get fancy with longanisa or tocino. But it's very common for a Filipino breakfast to have canned meat that you might already have in your pantry, like corned beef or Vienna sausage.
but today, I feel like eating spam. So let's slice up some of that luncheon meat. I like them pretty thin, that way we can get them nice and crispy. I'm going to fry them in a cast iron skillet, but you can fry them in whatever you like. Because after all, you are the Chef John of whatever you fry your spam on. Personally, I could go even further, but I think most people would be satisfied with this level of crispiness. Now that our spam is done, let's cook an egg. I'm going back to the wok for this. You can have your egg any way you like, scrambled, sunny side up, over easy. I've recently grown fond of basting an egg with butter. The idea is to keep spooning that hot melted butter over the egg until the whites are cooked. And also over the yolk so it doesn't get too runny. Unless you like it that way. Now plate up that egg and spam and scoop some rice onto your plate. I like to eat this with ensaladang pinoy which is a cucumber tomato salad with some onion and soy sauce vinegar dressing. And here it is, Spam and Eggs with Garlic Fried Rice. A classic Filipino breakfast. This is also known as Spam Silog. This was my favorite breakfast when I was growing up. So I have a lot of nostalgia attached to this breakfast. Well, except for the salad, but I'm trying to be a responsible adult now, so this is how I eat Spam with no shame. Kain na! If you have banana ketchup, you should use that. But I don't, so tomato ketchup will do just fine. I hope you try out this simple dish. And when you do, be sure to tag me on social media. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching.